Next is what's called Charles Law, and that says that there is a relationship between the temperature and the volume of a gas. These experiments were performed roughly around 1783. Formally defined, Charles Law says that the volume of a fixed amount of gas at constant pressure is directly proportional to its temperature in Kelvin. And here we're going to find out why Kelvin is so important inside of calculations. Stated mathematically, Charles' law says that the volume is directly proportional to temperature as long as that temperature is in Kelvin and the pressure and the number of moles of gas are held constant. So this means that the volume is equal to some constant times T. If we solve for that constant, we can set up a series of equations here. We can use this to set up a relationship that says that the initial volume divided by the initial temperature of a gas is equal to the final volume divided by the final temperature of a gas. So let's look at an example of Charles' Law. And here I have a sample of a gas, CO2, and it's in a syringe in this case, but this is just a container. Initially the gas volume is 25 milliliters and my temperature is 20 degrees C. What would be the final volume of the gas if the temperature is raised to 37 degrees C? Notice inside of this question, the pressure remains constant, so we didn't talk about changing the pressure inside of my syringe. So the idea is the syringe volume will change, but the pressure is the outside pressure pushing against it, so it is being held constant. Also, we are not talking about adding or removing any of our gas, CO2, so the number of moles of CO2 are held constant. So I take this equation and I say, what variable am I looking for? We're looking for the final volume, or V2. So I solve this equation for V2. And then the next thing I need to make sure of is that my temperatures are in Kelvin. So we add 273.15, and we have talked about converting degree C to Kelvin earlier in this textbook. I convert these temperatures to Kelvin. So 20 degrees C is 293.15 Kelvin, and 37 degrees C is 310.15 Kelvin. And you can see here already, if we tried to use degree C, we would have a problem because if I tried to do a calculation where the temperature was zero degrees C, we would have a problem with the mathematics here. So I plug these numbers in. I can use any unit of volume. Just whatever unit I put in is going to be the unit that I get out. So here we're using milliliters. And so my answer is going to come out in milliliters. So the final volume of this gas is 26.4 milliliters. So what's interesting about Charles' Law is Charles' Law can be used to predict what absolute zero is. Scientists understood absolute zero quite a while ago because they used Charles' Law to make a prediction. And what they did is they made a graph for a given gas. They looked at the change in volume for temperature, so we have a few points here. And then they extrapolated the graph and said, at what point will the volume of the gas equal zero? And that extrapolates to negative 273.15 degrees C, or absolute zero, or zero Kelvin. And the idea here is the volume of the gas reaches zero, and this means that that's the lowest possible temperature our gas can obtain. So we can't have a negative volume. So this is as cold as the gas can get.